Devin Booker wants people to stop bringing up the Mamba mentality, and he wants people to stop comparing him to Kobe Bryant. Hey there, guys. My name is Brandon, a.k.a. Suns Geek, and if it has to deal with the Phoenix Suns, I'm going to make a video about it. That is right, you guys. Make sure to Hulk smash that like button, and please subscribe for everything Phoenix Suns. If it has to deal with the Phoenix Suns, I'm going to make a video about it. And let's dive right into the video. You guys, I'm just going to let Devin Booker explain this because he sounded off on the hate that he got online for the fun with the Toronto Raptors mascot. And then he talked about, you know, Devin Booker and his engagement on social media. And then he also talked about the Mamba mentality and people bringing it up and the comparisons to Kobe Bryant. So I'm going to let Devin Booker himself sound off on this. Let's listen in. Yeah, I'm going to sound off on the situation. Uh, I just talk about putting things in perspective and, you know, I, I'm really enjoying this and I always have enjoyed social media and, you know, I, I check it daily and, you know, when they're saying good things about me, I don't get too high, I don't get too low on it. The only problem I have is people still comparing me to Kobe Bryant when I told them in the playoffs, stop bringing up mama mentality. I'm inspired by Kobe Bryant and mama mentality, but I am not Kobe Bryant. And... People are out here yelling mama mentality from the mama's house. I'll leave you with that. And you guys, I think Devin Booker is absolutely right. Devin Booker never set out to be the next Kobe Bryant. Yes, Kobe Bryant was a huge influence and a mentor to Devin Booker, but that doesn't mean that Devin Booker was trying to be the next Kobe Bryant. And you guys, there is a great book called Basketball, A Love Story, and there's a big section in there called Your Heroes, Heroes, where they interview, you know, LeBron James and Kobe Bryant and Steve Nash and a bunch of other NBA legends about who they looked up to and who they idolized growing up. And Steve Nash talked about the original Isaiah Thomas was his favorite player growing up. But Steve Nash also idolized Michael Jordan. But that doesn't mean that Steve Nash was trying to be the next Isaiah Thomas or Michael Jordan. And then Kobe Bryant was interviewed in that book, and he said that he idolized everyone. Larry Bird, Michael Jordan, Hakeem Olajuwon, Charles Barkley, John Stockton, John Havlicek, Elgin Baylor. He could go on and on about the players that he idolized, but it, that didn't mean that Kobe Bryant was trying to be like those players and even the Dr. J Julius Irving he looked up to Wilt Chamberlain and then Elgin Baylor's game was the most influential on his game so basically my point here you guys is that I could go on and on about millions of NBA players who were inspired by players but that doesn't mean that they were trying to be them Devin Booker is the first Devin Booker not the next Kobe Bryant. Let's stop the Mamba mentality talks. Let's stop the comparisons to Kobe Bryant. That's my video. That's my rant. Thank you guys so much for watching. My name is Brandon, a.k.a. Suns Geek. If it has to deal with the Phoenix Suns, I'm going to make a video about it. Make sure to Hulk smash that like button, and I'll see you guys next time. I'll leave you with that.